Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Conventico bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape. And as you can see in the gameplay here, I got Black Dragons as my Slayer task, and I decided I would go KBD a couple times. But, anyways, the other day, Jagex released a new developer's blog on the wilderness update they plan on making. So, this is the second developer's blog that they made about this new wilderness update, like I said, that they plan on making. And I thought I would make a part two to my previous video, which was also about their first developer's blog on this new update. So for this video, rather than just discussing the new bosses and the dragon pickaxe like I did in my last video, what I'm going to be doing here is basically answering the questions that they have in the developer's blog now that they just released, because usually the questions that they ask in these developer's blog end up being on the polls whether it's like reworded or not. So I'm just be going to be giving my opinion on what I think the answers to the question should be. So let's get right into it. I'm probably going to have these questions added onto the screen somewhere in case you guys want to read them or whatever. So the first question is, should we stop players from teleporting out of the KBD layer? Uh, I thought about this for a while, uh, also considering I was just at King Black Dragon as you can see in the gameplay, and I came to the conclusion that of course it would be awesome if you didn't, if you could just teleport out instantly and stuff, but if you think about it, when they're adding stuff like um, the Dragon Pickaxe being able to be dropped by all these other monsters like the Chaos Elemental and, and um, just monsters that are scattered throughout the wilderness that are going to be the new bosses that they're releasing, they're actually going to be in the wilderness and the KBD is not. So most likely if people want to get a dragon pickaxe they would just go to king black dragon because they aren't really risking as much so i actually think it would be a smart idea for them to make it so you can't teleport out of the kbd layer so the next question is should we add three new rune rocks to the ice plateau personally i'm not a miner uh, I know a lot of people aren't either and I don't think this would affect too many people and if it didn't uh, affect people it would probably be in a positive way so I'm going to say yes to that one. Third question is should we add the fountain of rune to the maze area uh, in the far east of level 50 wilderness. Basically what this is the fountain of rune is you can go there and you don't have to use runes in order to do spells like um, humidify. But I don't really know what I would answer for this one. I would probably say no because it seems like you're not going to be risking anything if you're going to the um, Fountain of Rune in order to use Humidify. So I guess I'm going to say no, but I really don't have enough information on what it's about to make an accurate answer. The next question is, once we have solved the issue of luring players into the wilderness using the trade windows, should we remove the wilderness ditch. Uh, I think that would be a great idea. Why not if you figure out a solution to it? This next question is probably going to be the most controversial of the voting or whatever. And what it says is should we add a dungeon of God Wars creatures to the wilderness? So basically, they're going to have stuff like Aviancies coming out of this like crevice from the God Wars dungeon into the wilderness and these aviancies are going to be able to drop adamant bars noted like they did in the main game back in the day. So the problem I see with having this is there's either going to be too many people PKing there and there's not going to be a point in going there because you're just going there to PK or get PK'd or nobody's going to PK there and people are just going to make bank off of addy bars. However, I do think this is kind of an interesting idea and it's going to add some more competitive factor to the wilderness. So I'm going to vote yes. And if it doesn't work out because maybe you're going to have like a lot of botters there or people are going to start making bank there, then I think they should take it out of the game. Next question is, should you be able to see your KD ratio of um, the amounts of kills and deaths you've had in the wilderness. I think this would be pretty epic and I don't really see why anybody would say no to this one unless they're a noob and they don't want to see how many times they've been owned. Should we replace red dragons with lava dragons in the wilderness? This is a pretty awesome one so as you guys know nobody really ever goes to kill the red dragons in the wilderness 
and also there's red dragons in the brimhaven dungeon but nobody goes there because it's not near a bank whatsoever really and also there's dogs there so I think it would be great if they moved uh, the red dragons somewhere else and replaced the red dragons in the wilderness with lava dragons and basically what lava dragons are are higher level dragons and they drop lava dragon bones which we can get more XP uh, from burying them rather than just regular dragon bones and also they have a chance of dropping a dragonic visage but it's probably not going to be that high. But also, since they're going to be replacing the red dragons in the wilderness with lava dragons, I think they should add a more convenient spot for people to kill red dragons, but not too convenient like the green dragons or blue dragons. Just a little bit harder to get to. Next question is, should we allow players to be able to interrupt other players in the wilderness while they are attacking other NPCs such as green dragons or whatever? Honestly, it can be pretty annoying when I'm going to kill bots uh, who are at green dragons in the wilderness because they keep attacking the green dragons, but you kind of need some sort of protection from that guy who's going to just tele uh, teleblock you and then kill you in fucking three hits with his mage, so I think this would probably be a bad idea because you kind of need some protection in the wilderness. Um, when, you're make it, when you're making it so competitive and stuff, and PKers have such an advantage over PVMers, then I don't think there's going to be a lot of PVMers out there going to kill these new bosses. So I would say vote no for this one for myself personally, but I don't have too much information on it, I guess. So that, that would be my answer for now. Next question is, should we remove 10 worlds from the world list to boost the activity on the other worlds? I've even thought of this for just bossing in general because... Uh, you want the worlds to have a high population so monsters respawn faster and also um, this would add the amount of players in each world for the wilderness so I actually think this would be a good idea however if they added free to play worlds and half of the worlds were free to play then this probably would be a good idea but I think we should try it out and I'm gonna vote yes for this one so this next one is pretty complicated and what it's about is when people are PKing or whatever and they know they are going to die because they don't have enough food left or whatever and they're doing a deathmatch, they decide that they're going to drop their items so they can tell it back and they will be able to get it before it spawns for the person who was going to kill them or whatever. So I think this would be a great idea if they made it so that once you drop your items in a PvP world or in the wilderness, then it would immediately appear on the ground. They also plan on adding another monster called the Cave Kraken, which requires 87 Slayer to kill, and it is going to be able to drop a magic staff which requires 75 magic to use and this staff is going to be able to run off of the runes that you charge it with so basically you have the staff and runes in your inventory and then you click on the staff or whatever and you charge it with the runes so that way when you have the staff wielded or whatever uh, it is pretty much auto clickable for your cast or whatever so you have an auto cast and you don't have to have the runes in your inventory because it is already charged with the runes you charged it with previously. It also says that each charge would require 3 death runes, 2 chaos runes, 5 fire runes, and 10 coins. I'm pretty sure each charge will give you a good amount of casts because it says the max hit would be only 17 at 75 magic and it would only increase to 22 at 99 magic and that I'm pretty sure doesn't include like magic potions and stuff like that so it seems to me like this is probably going to be more of a low cost magic attack method because if you're using stuff like fire wave I think it is and ice barrage it costs a lot for each cast so the next question is, should we increase the alchemy value of Bando's armor so that way it protects over crystal and Barrow's equipment? This is a great idea. I don't know why it's always, why it has never been like this from the start. So I am going to definitely vote yes for this one. Next one is, should we add a level 10 agility shortcut from the Varrock West Bank to the Spirit Tree? 
that would be very convenient because it takes me a while to go to the Vera Castle or whatever and then go all the way around so I think that's just a convenient shortcut right there the next one is should the run energy icon on the mini map toggle your run mode settings when you click it I don't see why anybody would vote no to this one next question is should the prayer points icon on the map allow you to select some quick prayers this is pretty controversial to stuff like PvP and stuff like that, but uh, I, I don't it doesn't really affect me too much, but it is pretty convenient, so I'm going to vote yes for that one whenever the poll comes out. Should the health icon near the mini-map allow you to cure poison or cure disease when you click it? I think this would be controversial to PvP, like I said with the quick prayers, but I would probably vote yes for this one myself since I don't really PvP and I'm just a PvMer. Next one is, should we increase the cooldown time on the mini game teleports to one hour? At the moment, I'm pretty sure it's around like 15 to 20 minutes for you to just P uh, teleport to any mini game. So I think that's pretty overpowered to be honest. Um, there's no really point in getting a glory at your house when uh, you want to teleport to like uh, the Tazar Caves when you can just teleport to the Fight Caves minigame once you've been there at least once. So I think that would be a good idea. Plus you already have the home teleport which is also free. Next one is, should the God Wars Dungeon Alters give a message stating how long you will be able to use them? I have been waiting so long for this fucking update. I always like think it's been 20 minutes since I've prayed, but in reality it's only been like 5 and I have to keep waiting. So it would be great if they could add a message so I don't keep losing track. Next one is, if you are in a chat channel when you log out, should you automatically uh, rejoin it once you log in? Also a good idea. Next one. Should you have the option to pay some Slayer points to unlock Mithril Dragons? I really want Mithril Dragons as a task, so that would be great, because it would be great if I got a Dragon Full Helm off of the Slayer task, which, let's be honest, that will never happen in my life, especially with my luck, if you know what I'm talking about. Should you have the option to pay some Slayer points to unlock Aviancies from Duradel, Shelter, and Naive? This would be a pretty awesome task and now I would actually have a reason to go killing them in 07 RuneScape. This one is also pretty awesome. Should we add new channels like the mini game grouping panel to find uh, partners for the Black Arm Phoenix game members, whatever, for the quests like Heroes and I think it's like Shield of Arav and also for God Wars Dungeon parties and Water Birth Island parties. I like the idea for the quest part, but I don't like the idea for having channels for God Wars Dungeon Parties and Waterbirth Island Parties. And this is because we already have PVM clans out there, and I think it would just be better if people stuck to PVM clans uh, that are uh, already existing on the forums and they just went to those instead of finding random people for them to do God Wars Dungeon who they cannot trust. This next one is also another favorite of mine. Should we add the loot broadcast like they have in God Wars Dungeon to other bosses such as Calphite Queen, King Black Dragon, Dagonoth Kings, and the Chaos Elemental? I think this would be a pretty amazing update and I'm pretty sure they had this back in the day on the main game, but I wouldn't know because I don't play that shit anymore. But the only reason I could see people voting no for this one is that if they wanted to lie with the people that they are bossing with by saying that they didn't get something such as a Dragonic Visage or Berserker Ring when they really did, which is a pretty douchey move. So I'm going to say yes for this one. The next one I do not care whatsoever about because I do not farm. My farming level is 10 and I only got that from a quest, but should Water Saplings have a W in parentheses added to their names? Sure, why not? Finally, we are nearing the end. Should the total level XP box on the stats interface have a tooltip that shows you your total XP? This would be quite convenient, so I'm definitely going to vote yes. And the final question, should we add 24 more bank spaces to everyone's bank? Considering it's going to be for everyone's bank, I don't see a problem with having this. So. If you managed to watch this far into this long ass video, then it would be cool if you could write something in the comment section below such as like 
fork or whatever so just say something containing fork in your comment I would love to hear what you guys have to say if you enjoyed this video then please leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed peace